so welcome back again and i have another power bank to review which is known as energy qc 24000 mah went with uh, yeah 65 watts maximum total capacity is 28 88.8 watt hour the same thing and what else the manufacturer specifications model number is energy core 65 and input can be maximum of 20 volts 3 ampere that is 60 watts and it has two USB C ports both can support 60 watts maximum USB A is 22.5 and ah, that was the input there. so it can be charged only at 60 watts but output can be 65 watts so let's see what is inside Yeah, so a purple color power bank, a manual, and a cable. That's it. So, first check into the manual what is there. So, the standard ones, the same specifications are here printed again. Has nice, yeah, footage, and it says it needs to be activated. So from seventy to zero percent, and then to a hundred percent to charge. That's what it also says. Use the product normally until battery level is displayed at zero percent, and then charge the product to hundred percent to complete the screen display as activation and the cable is also there and let's go to the power bank itself oh i thought it's a button but it is not a button it is on the side and it says default is 70 percent so manual says correctly 70 71 percent here is the button and it says energy core 65 is the model name same specifications again yeah but this seems very light to me so even though I don't want to do a tear down but the weight is very light so I will do a tear down so what to do now uh, first I will do the discharge because it recommends to discharge first I will use the same cable which is supplied and let's try to charge my power bank which is 140 watts and default is 5.08 and it is now connected let's see 11.2 volts 11.9 at 1 ampere that edge around 10 watts that doesn't seem right but since this thing is only 4.78 so maybe it will increase I will give it some time or maybe I will also try to charge or discharge it with other port so I have it now the second pop ready and it resets okay this doesn't seem to work
because the problem with other ones, the power at, at it is charging only at 5 watts. Let me try again. Now, doesn't seem to work. Let me try again. So both ports doesn't seem to work and now I think I have broken it <laughs> because it is charging only at now 1.9 watts. So hmm, whether it is fast charging or not, maybe I have pressed a button button too many times. Okay, this button does something. Let me read. So I have connected it to now second port. And here it is charging at 18 watts. So I will let it charge for some time and see whether this goes up or not. So now it is fully discharged, I can say. and it didn't charge uh, for more than uh, 20 watts maximum depending upon the port so i'm now very much curious what is inside so i just tried it open and we find it here our old friend ip5389 and it has I would say five of 21700 lithium ion cells. It seems to be manufactured on 6 January 2024 at 4AH. So it has altogether five cells. Five multiplied by four is 20 ampere hour, which means the marking on the wrapper is incorrect. It should be 20,000 mAh and not 24. If it is 24, then I needed one more cell. So six cells, but it has only five cells, which is only 20 and not 24. So I would say that is the reason or that was the reason why it was or it is so light. Now I will check whether it is getting charged and 60 watts charging is there or not. And I would say yes, the 60 watt charging is there. It is charging at 62 watts or 60 watts, 60.7 three from the power bank it is going 62 watts so maybe two watts is in the conversion loss from that power bank but here it is coming 60 watts I tried charging from both the ports so there I can see the first port or yeah first port is getting charged at 60 watts the second port does not, it is 0 watts. So parallel charging with both the ports is not possible. However, the charging at around 60 watts works. So as we have seen, oh yeah, the IP5389, yeah, it doesn't suck. Based upon the implementation, implementation uh, only one port is high power, which one is used. Okay, so in my opinion, uh, this one is poorly implemented board, and even though the 
pack says 24,000 mAh, it delivers only 20,000 mAh. And what? let's see what there, what else is there. First is this the power bank board with chipset 5389. This is the back side. It is connected with the second board. Which is the balancing circuit. You can see it is in 5S configuration. And the controller chip seems to be one M one three five one D A T, and there is nothing on the back side. Okay, so at the end, I wouldn't say this thing is yeah extraordinary, pretty ordinary, and the manufacturer tried to yeah cheat. I would say. Here it says 24,000 mAh but delivers only 20,000. Rest, in my opinion, rest of the specifications seems to be correct. But if someone asks me yeah, whether I'm going to buy it, I am not going to buy it again. And input 60 watts is, seems to be correct. And output 65 watt is pretty hard to achieve. So that's it for this review. Thanks for watching, like and share, and also subscribe. My subscriber count is still only 298. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching. And till next video. Bye-bye.